And welcome everyone to Wi-Fi Wednesdays. My name is Kevin Z. I am founder and CEO of My Wi-Fi Networks. And we meet here on Zoom and Facebook every single week to answer your questions live. I do some sales training. I announce some new features, do some live demos. And it is home of the 30-day Wi-Fi challenge, which is in the process of getting a massive makeover. If you guys joined us last week and saw all of the new features that we recently launched, uh, you are able to really use that as your number one driver for new sales moving forward. I will show you a demo of that when I mean by that exactly on this call as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Also, let me know if you have any questions, enter it in the Q&A box or on Facebook chat. You can enter the question there and I will get to it at the end of today's call. But jumping right into it, if you guys joined us last week, um, we were very hard at work. We've been working really hard uh, for a very long time developing uh, all of these new features, primarily the GDPR that we launched a few weeks ago now, it took a very long time to do. That is to uh, comply, obviously, with the European legislation for some uh, information privacy. But you can also use that for a double opt-in. Any clients that are looking for <clears throat> that extra, you know, yes, I am 100% sure that I want to be added to your mailing list. You can do that using this new feature. Uh, we also redesigned our whole new way to add locations or to really onboard clients. I think this is probably the biggest thing that we've done as far as making it easy for you to onboard clients, to bring on new clients, and to really even outsource a team to do this for you because there's only three steps involved and you can get them all done in one fluid swoop. So here, uh, the new client wizard allows you to add a location, <clears throat> a device, and a campaign in one step. So by adding a location, you do either a Facebook, Google, or manual uh, entry of your actual location. Uh, here's, for example, you enter a Facebook page, it pre-populates all of the data. Then you click on create location. It brings you to the device page where you can either add a new device or choose an existing device. Uh, once you do that, it brings you to the campaign page where it's all, all again, pre-populated with your Facebook data, most likely is what you entered in step one. Uh, or you can change anything you want in your campaign also in the step as soon as you click save, you're all done. It does everything for you, okay? But that's not all. We also launched a sales CRM widget. This widget allows you to embed a, a very cool tool, a lead gen tool inside of your websites. But I don't want you guys to really think about this as limiting to just iframing this in your website or sending a URL to somebody. Uh, when I was away, I was in New York City this weekend and I actually spoke to two different prospects and I pulled up this demo on my phone. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second, uh, but I was with the client and rather than me just pulling a preview page or explaining to the client what I did, I quickly pulled up this sales widget on my phone with their Facebook page pre-populated and I was able to very quickly show them the three steps of the experience, the login, the success, and the redirect. And because I was showing it on my phone and I had it preloaded, there was nothing for them to do and I was able to walk them through it over my shoulder. Uh, this was super effective because I was able to really explain, you know, clients log in. After they log in, they see this thank you page. After they see this thank you page, they redirect to this website. So client got it immediately. And then together, I said, okay, so let me contact you. What's your name? Just to confirm. What's the best email to get a hold of you? Uh, what's your phone number? Enter that. I click contact us. So I actually filled out the form for them, but it was almost like the first meeting was already done because it was face-to-face. -face, it was impromptu. And I really hope that you guys use this tool in the same way. Um, I will show you a preview of exactly how we do that in just a minute. I just want to run through all the new stuff here. So for that, for you guys to get access to that widget, that sales widget, which uh, again is probably the best tool to generate leads and to preview this in, in real time, in real life, or you can even send this to a client, embed it on your website. You need to be on an MSP plan or on a legacy plan or higher. Okay, so what you want to do is log into your dashboards. On the top, you'll see my account. Under my account, click on the plan tab, and then you upgrade to a legacy plan, or if you're on an MSP plan, you already have access to this. Now, there's even more. Um, we also launched a ClickFunnels funnel um, that is completely done for you. Uh, that looks like this, and I'll actually show you guys another sample again quickly about uh, what this actually looks like. I'm just pulling it up. That's a little preview of another cool thing that we have for you here. Um, and by clicking that, you'll see it's going to add this uh, to my funnel. So you see it's working, working, working. It's going to automatically um, take this and then uh, automatically copy it into my account. Now, directly within ClickFunnels now, I can go in and let me just show you a preview of what this looks like. So this is a page that I can run traffic to. I can run AdWords, Facebook ads. I could share this in my email footer. But this can become your new website. 
I'm on the verge of saying you don't even need a website to sell this. This is a funnel. Okay, it's very different. What makes this different? This is a headline. It's a very direct message. Um, you see the the uh, video over here that you have. Obviously, you have access to that. Uh, and then as well, you can uh, scroll down here. You see all the features and benefits and all that. But what's cool is that you paste your widget embed code right over here onto the website. And what that ends up looking like uh, is uh, essentially this whole widget embedded right into your own funnel. And you can go in here. You can edit the page right within ClickFunnels. If you want to add your logo, you want to add a phone number, custom links. Um, essentially, what you want to do when you embed that widget code uh, is this. I'll show you that in just a sec right now, actually, as we go along. So this is your page. This is in the ClickFunnels editor. You can change anything you want uh, in literally just a few clicks. Super easy. So you can uh, obviously customize all of this. You go down to custom JavaScript or HTML. You click on open code editor. You're going to see this uh, text over here. You delete that. Okay, you open up your dashboard. I'm just going to open up the dashboard over here and show you the sample of the widget. So everybody who is a white label or legacy, a le white label legacy or MSP plan holder has access to this. You log in under your white labeled URL. The reason for that is you need to have this, uh, your master dashboard white labeled with your C name uh, all mapped up and your SSL all mapped up. Otherwise, when somebody fills out this lead form, we don't know whose lead it is. So this is why we require it. And what you want to do is over here, um, go under sales CRM, under widget, and then at the top, you're going to see uh, this right over here, get wizard iframe code, click that once, you're going to see this pop up, just how it looks like, uh, you're going to select all, or I can actually just click on the copy button, make it easy, uh, right, go right back to click funnels, go over here and go paste, all right, that's it, go over here, click on save, and you're going to see now when I preview this, um, obviously, I can make additional changes. I can change any of the text, any of the words, anything like that. If I go down to show me a demo, it prompts me to enter my Facebook page. So let's say I am uh, this sushi restaurant, and I'll go ahead and do that. Hey, yeah, that's my location. That's great. Let me proceed. Login, success page. I can change anything I want. Uh, obviously, it's all editable and real time, uh, and I can also redirect right to, uh, hey, that's my website. That looks great. Cool. Proceed. Uh, do I have existing hardware? Yes or no. Next steps, I can enter all my information. All right, over here, pretend I'm even with that client and I'm filling out this form with the client. That's awesome. Uh, that's all done. I go back over here. You're going to notice if I refresh this uh, portal, I'm going to see this Kibo guest, hello at opportunity.com. That's what I just filled out over here. So uh, this is a very cool lead gen tool. We are adding more customizations to this. For example, the ability to change your questions, the ability to change your text, um, also the ability to uh, send webhooks to third parties. So that's going to be the V2 update. If you have any suggestions or feedback on this, let us know because obviously we're looking to make it uh, better. And uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we want everyone using this. So make sure you're using it not only for embedding it in your websites, but also like I just showed you, um, you can copy this link to the clipboard. And just to show you over here, another cool trick, um, I have my link that I just copied to my clipboard. If I visit that directly, you're going to see it pulls up this, uh, you know, without an iframe, it's just directly a link. So this is a link I can send somebody um, to make it easier. If I know the name of the clients, let's say I wanted to pitch an airport or Porter Airlines, an airline company, I could enter their Facebook page slash at the end of my link. And what it's going to do is automatically create it and pre-fill everything directly just by me adding that Facebook page in the URL. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, use this because it's a super powerful tool. I personally use it in the last three days uh, to close two deals. So hope you guys use it as well. That's where you get it. The link is brmo.co slash cfwifi. Okay, uh, so you get that free. That's included for everybody. Uh, that's the link, but in order to embed that widget, you need to have your uh, widget code to get the widget code you have to be on an msp or legacy plan all right but we have even more this week that was the stuff that we just even gave away last week some of you guys missed that for those who missed it that's all the cool things you missed if you want longer in-depth demos uh just check last week's session go into the facebook members area go to videos and just go back to uh the previous week which was uh june the 5th and that's when we covered that I'm sorry, it was June the 6th, last Wednesday. 
All right, so even more, we recently also revamped the devices section. So I'm just gonna jump right into the dashboard and show you what we did over here. Um, inside your cloud management dashboard, I'm just gonna pull this up to show you, for example, um, click on my devices on the left-hand side. You're gonna notice that instead of having uh, those uh, big square tiles that we had listed, um, it is now a list, okay? So what makes this nice is that at a glance, you can see many more devices. You can see exactly the model of the device. You can see the name of the device. You can see if it's connected, never connected, whether presence is on or off, the location it's assigned to, the campaign it's running, and also go in and edit anything you want. Okay, so for example, if I looked at devices that are online and I wanted to jump in um, to one of these or I wanted to look for just open mesh devices, uh, you can do this, it's pretty cool. I can go in over here, I can one click right to the location, I can one click go in and edit that campaign as well. So just for quick access and easy access for me to you know, go in and manage things, um, that's how you would go do that. Uh, we made it really easy to do that right within the devices page. In addition, um, you'll notice that if you open up any of these, uh, so for example, I'll just do an open mesh as well, um, you can click on edit device over here on the right, and it's much cleaner and easier to work with. So uh, you have your information, you have the manufacturer, all the details about the actual device itself, the MAC address, the NAS ID. If you go edit, you can change the location that it's assigned to very easily. You can also change the name of this device itself. Under network, you can get uh, the networking keys if you have any network keys or any ways or any keys that you're using uh, to sync up or um, this is for open mesh specifically. And also for presence, you have everything there that you can turn on and off very easily um, through the dashboard. Okay, um, there, uh, that's open mesh uh, to give you a sample of Meraki. Um, now, what makes this cool is that uh, every device, depending on the manufacturer, uh, has different settings. So we made it really easy to, on this pop-up, let's say you're using a Meraki device, you go over here, you can add the access points just by adding additional ones there, or you can remove ones as well with one click. Okay, so that's really easy to do. Also, presence is listed. Uh, you can easily turn that on or off uh, in this portal. Uh, you can also one-click inline, turn uh, the status on or off. So if you want to disable something, you can literally click on status and disable it. You can also enable or disable presence all in line. So all of these elements are now clickable. If I wanted to jump to this campaign specifically, I can go do that, go in and edit everything as we go. All right, so um, I hope you guys um, you know, use these, give us some feedback as well as you're using this because it's, uh, it's obviously uh, we put a lot of work into making this right. And if there's any suggestions or feedback that you guys have, please let us know. I also want to mention that if you are uh, using the SH100s, as you can see here, um, you'll also notice, uh, we'll let you know the last time it synced up, uh, the difference between the blue and the green icons. Uh, for example, black is never connected or, uh, so yeah, black is never connected. Red is offline. Blue is synced up with the cloud controller. So this is obviously always online because unless Meraki or OpenMesh or, or uh, you know, Ubiquity goes down, uh, this will not change and they never really go down. So this will always be blue. Uh, with the actual devices using firmware, the My Wi-Fi devices, the TP-Link devices, anything like that, we sync up with them using our own custom sync. So this will tell you exactly when's the last time we synced up with the device. And this also says that a firmware update is available. So here, obviously this, uh, requires a firmware update. To do that, you click on this, uh, you click on the button upgrade firmware, and that's all you have to do. Everything is all good and automatic. Okay, the reason we don't do this automatically and we make you go in and click on upgrade firmware is because it does have to reset the device and the system does go down for like two minutes while it installs the new firmware. And we want to do that, uh, you know, when we release it, we don't want to automatically up, you know, reboot your client's devices. So anytime, it's not never essential, but if you ever want to get the latest features, uh, for example, this one, you probably want to update. You click on update firmware and then click on upgrade firmware over here and you will be good to go. All right. Also, I uh, just remind everybody, if you want to get affiliate commission, if you want to refer anybody to us on the top of your dashboard, you're going to notice an affiliate link. Uh, I don't have that in there, but I can show you in another dashboard over here. Um, I can pull that up. So let me just open this over here right over here under affiliates, you can grab your URL. So I simply go over here, I have this URL, I click on copy, and you'll see over here I have zero signups, zero customers, zero clicks. Uh, I go over here and if I share this with a friend, I'm just gonna open up incognito over here. So let's say I share my unique URL that I just copied and pasted with a friend. 
Um, usually it's good to shorten that, but you can send them directly to our long form sales page. You can send them right to the webinar registration or right to the checkout page directly. Uh, whatever one you choose, when you do that and people click, you'll see if I refresh this page, it's going to show um, that I have visitors and I have uh, the ability to transfer, track all my clicks, track all my customers. Uh, and then we pay out 30%, 20 to 30% recurring, depending on what plan you're on, uh, recurring commission. So that's uh, commission recurring on the setup fee and also commission recurring on every single month that your refers, referrals pay us, we will pay you. Okay, so please don't overlook this affiliate tab at the top. Uh, we're adding a whole bunch of new resources. I actually just uh, wrote 70 emails that I'm gonna be giving you guys all the swipe files for, as they call them. So a series of emails that you can use to send out to other people to get them educated and understanding and hyped up about social Wi-Fi. If they end up signing up, you get recurring commission. That's a percentage of everything they pay us every single month for life by simply sharing your referral URL. Cool, so if you guys um, want that, please let me know um, if you have any questions, uh, I mean. Uh, so please let us know if you have any questions about that or anything that I displayed here today. Now I'm gonna run through some of the questions that people have uh, asked already in the Q&A and also in the chat. Uh, Mark asked if I can uh, share some of the best responding ads that drives traffic to those kind of funnels. Um, to be honest, uh, if you do a video of yourself, like on screen, uh, quickly explaining, hey, I would love to offer you drive more leads for your business, because at the end of the day, local businesses, so my ads are different than most ads. I don't necessarily target local businesses. I train you guys to do that. Uh, we don't go direct. You know, Some of the benefit of working with us, uh, we are 100% focused on helping resellers. But if I was selling to a local business, I would definitely uh, have a video of myself, uh, something that is really um, shows that I understand how to drive revenue, drive leads, uh, really reduce the risk. And the whole idea of this is just a lead gen. I'm not trying to sell anybody off the top. I just want to get them to give me the information and educate them enough to get on a phone call with me. So if I have the ability to share my face or get on screen or do a video ad uh, and they already know what I look like and see you know, who I am, then they're gonna be way more likely to uh, buy from me because it feels like the second meeting, which is really the first face-to-face -face meeting is almost the second time that they've met you. And that, that's always really cool. So a question over here, where can you find the shared ClickFunnels funnel? Uh, it is over here, it is in the members area as well, but it's brmo.co slash CF Wi-Fi. All right, more questions over here. So Trevor's wondering, how do you add existing demo campaigns in Location Wizard? Uh, not sure I fully understand the question, but if you wanna add existing campaigns to somebody that you create using the Location Wizard, um, you can just save that campaign and then just switch out the campaign that's assigned to that, to that location. So Alberto, if you uh, have a question regarding uh, a larger network, um, you can definitely uh, request a, a call with somebody on our team, just uh, chat with support and ask to speak with somebody in sales. And uh, we can definitely uh, talk about that, that size of installation. Just to remind you guys, I'm only gonna be answering questions that are asked in the Q&A in the actual question section. People writing long paragraphs, it's hard to see if there's an actual question in the chat, so.
Yeah, and you guys can also, you know, be creative with that wizard. Uh, if you have somebody enter their Facebook page ID, or if you already have that, you can use it as a merge field in your CRM, send people directly to that page with their page pre-installed or kind of pre-filled. That's a cool way. We had somebody just writing in the chat that that's what they do with it now. So that's, that's awesome. Uh, and you can embed that. You can iframe it. You can SMS it. You can do all kinds of fun things with that link. Again, it's your link. It is branded to you and your platform, especially when you have the C name and the SSL set up. Uh, everything will then appear inside your sales CRM, which makes it really easy for you to prospect leads and qualify them and close them. Yeah, we are also going to be eventually working on a notification system. Uh, however, most of our clients, to be honest, that require a notification system likely already use uh, OpenMesh or Meraki or Aruba that have their own notification systems. So there's no reason to reinvent the wheel there. And that's just why we haven't prioritized it. Yeah, if you actually, if you do get, if you want to use that funnel, you can join, you have to join ClickFunnels, but I believe you have the option to sign up for just the, it's the single funnel. So if you don't want to use ClickFunnels for $97 a month, um, you can use it for like 27 or something like a lot cheaper. And you can only maintain that one funnel, which to be honest, it's still well worth the money because if you're generating leads with that, and it's working for you, then, then that's awesome. Uh, it's not a requirement, just to be clear, you don't have to use ClickFunnels, you can use WordPress, you can use Squarespace, you can use Weebly or Wix or whatever you, you want. You just need to pop that in as the iframe, copy and paste that iframe code into an HTML uh, entry into any of the website builders and it'll work perfectly. Uh, no, you are not allowed to, uh, to drive rogue traffic to uh, our affiliate offer. Uh, if you have qualified traffic or you're running proper ads, um, then definitely you can. But we, we do vet the traffic. If you're sending us uh, traffic that's not good, we will not uh, obviously uh, allow you in our affiliate program. And yeah, if you already have ClickFunnels, you visit that link, brmo.co slash CF Wi-Fi and you'll automatically get it added to your ClickFunnels account. No extra cost there. Um, yes, we are thinking about adding click tracking to the automation emails. Uh, we will likely do that when we upgrade uh, the SendGrid integration, which is going to happen at some point in the future, in the near future, hopefully. Uh, but yes, that's a great idea. And we are going to be adding that uh, when we upgrade our, our marketing tools. Questions about AdSense or running ads. You need to have a verified AdSense account. And you also need to uh, be you know, testing this in a, in a real environment for the AdSense ads to show. Uh, if you just start an account today and you try to pop the code in, it likely won't work. It takes a few days to get everything settled, and you also have to have an approved account in order for it to, uh, to gel. Yes, question, will the widget code work on any website? Yes, it will. If you guys want more information about SendGrid, go to SendGrid.com or watch some YouTube videos. To view the presence analytics, currently it's in the device section, uh, sorry, in the location section under the presence tab, but shortly we have a new upgrade coming and that'll be in a different place. So I will point that out uh, when we move it, but currently it is in the location section under the presence tab. Uh, and I will notify you of uh, that new update when we go live with it. All right, any of the questions I can get to you right now?
Got a question on Facebook. Yeah, there are some videos that uh, you could use to find the sponsors. Um, go to the members area. So log into the, uh, let me just show you on my screen over here. So right inside your accounts, the top members area. And then actually, let me show you two things that are new. One, there's an area called free stuff. And we actually put a whole bunch of stuff in here, like the free trial for ClickFunnels, uh, Zapier for free, Shopify free trial, Moby Punch for free, Active Campaign free trial, $10 free at Sticker Mule. Um, so these are new. Make sure you click these, check them out. That's uh, right located in the free stuff tab uh, under the guide section. It's right over here. You'll notice it with a lightning bolt. Okay. As well, if you go to business models, uh, you have advertising network. Uh, there's two sections, local Wi-Fi advertising network. There is a whole video over here that walks through uh, types of campaigns, how to position Wi-Fi as real estate, how to under, you know, basically understanding what an ad network is, how it works, uh, how to use our system as an ad network, um, and more information on Wi-Fi advertising there. And then on the section section, second section, the main assets to monetize, um, talk about the different ad units and stuff that we have listed here. Um, how to generate leads, um, the real-time engagement, how to build an audience. Uh, we have you know, several videos over here that help uh, talk about that. And I'm actually going to add another graphic over here. Um, I just remembered I had it and we haven't shared it with you, but it shows you all of the ad units, the placements of them, um, which in fact might not even be necessary because right now uh, when you go and edit your campaign, let me just show you, if you go to any campaign over here. And let's say I wanted to add ads over here, uh, enable advertisements. Uh, what's new here is that you can also, you show the placeholders. So you'll see over here on the homepage, if I'm adding ads on the top and bottom, uh, let me just zoom, zoom in to show you. Um, so this is essentially, um, you know, rather than having a static image, you can make it dynamic and uh, take the screenshot. If somebody asks where the ads gonna be on the homepage, you can put them right over here, or you can put them over there. Uh, on the post interstitial thank you page, you can again choose it. It is a full takeover uh, with your second redirect here. You can adjust that right over here. So this will stay, this will count down, you know, 19, 18, 17, 16, and so forth until it gets to zero and then it will redirect. Uh, and then on your thank you page, you have three ad units over here. And let me just pop these in to show you where they are. Where they are. So you have your placeholder on top, your message, uh, your placeholder in the middle, your redirect link, and then a placeholder on the footer. Okay, so that's where all of those placements are for ads. And you can turn them on or off over here. You have your zones set up for ads as well. So you create your zones, you put your ads inside zones, and then you assign your zones to the campaigns over here. That's what this means, ad campaigns. And then the ad reports shows you uh, who's clicking, what's happening, and uh, essentially how your ads are performing over time. So question specifically about the ads, uh, pre-login are not clickable. The ads pre-login are more brand ads. So you have, you know, sponsored by Coke, um, you know, we accept Amex, that kind of stuff that has no destination. It's not clickable because it's not authenticated yet. Good point, Tony. Um, so that's why the ads pre-login are not recommended or not allowed to be clickable. Uh, and anything post-login, so the interstitial or the thank you page links or ads are all um, clickable. To find your AdSense code, uh, go to Google and type in that exact question. Sorry to be rude, but I'm, we got to ask you, we got to really stay focused on, um, you know, the platform questions. This is not a beginner session on, on things. Um, same people asking a lot of beginner questions. Um, you guys just got to go resource, be resourceful, go on Google. Um, we'll answer questions specifically about the platform on this call. We are going to also be adding, um, or you're asking for the ad statistics. Yes, we're going to be changing the uh, some of the user dashboard access. Um, yeah, about the uh, the advertisements stats. Uh, they're available to admins currently. All right, any of the questions I can get to.
All right, that's it. If you guys have any other questions, please chat with our support team. Um, go to wifi supportdesk.com or use a little bubble on the right hand side of the dashboard. We are always here to help you. And if you have any suggestions, questions, let us know. Um, we don't, obviously, uh, you guys might have some ideas, some requests. We're not going to do every single idea that you come to us with, but we will definitely take in the best ones and do our best to prioritize making constant improvements to the platform. On that note, if you guys have any questions, uh, chat with support. Thank you so much for joining us live on Zoom, live on Facebook, and I will see you guys inside the Facebook group with some more cool surprises coming up real soon. Until then, sell well, get out there and crush it, and we'll talk soon. Take care.